Good morning. So our topic for today, week three, is the geometric sequence. Now let's go ahead and define first what a geometric sequence is. So a geometric sequence is a sequence where the next terms are determined by multiplying. So again, the operation that will be involved here is multiplication to a constant called the common ratio. In arithmetic sequence, we have the common difference. In geometric sequence, we have the common ratio. The formula is, this is actually a sub n, not a n. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied to r raised to the power of n minus 1, where our a sub 1 refers to the first term of the given geometric sequence. r refers to the common ratio. And n refers to the position of the term. So to fully understand what geometric sequence is, let's go ahead and have some examples. For our example number one, our problem is what is the seventh term in the sequence 2, 6, and 18? So in order for us to solve and identify what the answer is, step one here is to find the common ratio so that we can use it to substitute in the formula. So in identifying what the common ratio is, it's R, which is the symbol for common ratio, is equal to the current term divided by the previous term. So based on the given sequence, if 6 will be your current term, your previous term is 2. You can also use 18 as your current term and your previous term will be 6. You cannot use 2 as your, preview, or as your current term because you don't have any previous term. So in our case, we will be using 6 as our current term divided by the previous term, which is 2, which makes our common ratio 3. Because 2 times 3, 6. Times 3, 18. Now that we have our common ratio, we can now go ahead and solve using the formula to identify the seventh term. So again, here's our formula. So based on the given, our a sub n here will turn into a sub 7, since we are now looking for the seventh term, a sub 1 is the first term of the sequence, which is 2, times our common ratio, which is 3, raised to the power of sub n minus 1. Our n here is, of course, the position of the term, so 7 minus 1. Next a sub 7 is equal to, let's just copy this first, and 7 minus 1 is equal to 6. Next, a sub 7 is equal to 2 times 3 raised to the power of 6. So it's going to be 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. 3 multiplied to itself 6 times. And if we solve that, our answer is going to be 729. So 2 times 729. So our seventh term for this geometric sequence is 729 times 2. We have 1,458. So that's our answer. So let's have one another example. For our next example, we have what is the eighth term in the sequence negative 5, 10, and negative 20. So again, first step is we have to identify what the common ratio is. Current term divided by the previous term. So I will use 10 as my current term, which makes negative 5 as my previous term. So 10 divided by negative 5 will give me a common ratio of negative 2. Now, let's identify the 8th term using the formula. a sub n will turn into a sub 8 because we're looking for the 8th term. a sub 1 is the first term, so we have negative 5. Our common ratio is negative 2 times n. Our n here is 8 because we're looking for the 8th term. So 8 minus 1. Next. So negative 5 times negative 2 raised to the power of 7. So this is a sub 8 is equal to negative 5 
times. This will become negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Not enough. Times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. So which means this is negative 2 multiplied by itself 7 times. Which will give us negative 128. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. Times negative 2 is negative 8. Times negative 2 is positive 16. Times negative 2 is negative 32. Times negative 2 will give us positive 64. Times negative 2 will give us negative 128. Next, A sub 8 will give us negative 5 times negative 128 will give us positive 640. And this is our 8th term. Now let's have our last example. So for our last example, what is the 6th term in the sequence negative 3, negative 12, and negative 48. So again, let's start to find the common ratio. So current term, I will use negative 12, and my previous term is negative 3. So negative 12 divided by negative 3 will give me positive 4 as our common ratio. Negative 3 times 4, negative 12, times 4, negative 48. So that's correct. Now let's go ahead and use the formula to find the sixth term. A sub 6 is equal to the first term, which is negative 3, times the common ratio, which is 4, raised to the power of, our n here is 6 minus 1. Next, a sub 6 is equal to negative 3 times 4, raised to the power of 5. Next, a sub 6 is equal to negative 3. 4 raised to the power of 5. This is actually 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. This is going to be 4 multiplied to itself 5 times. 1024. 1,024 times negative 3, so our a sub 6 is equal to 3,072. Negative 3,072. So that's it. That's our three examples for the geometric sequence. So if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comment section below. And thank you very much, and I hope you learned today.